Hi, my name is Miles Young, former deep space miner. Well, until the equipment I was using malfunctioned and killed my co-worker Jacob Smith. The mining machine I was using shorted out and caused a cave-in, which in turn killed Jacob. Now the reason I'm in prison is everyone was so convinced that I killed Jacob because of our rivalry we had. Ever since I started the job five years ago, the guy's been an asshole to me. I don't know why. I guess he just didn't like the new blood in the mine or something. Well, to make a long story short, I'm innocent. I know. Kind of cliche coming from a prisoner, but I really am. But everyone in the mine seems to believe that I did it on purpose. And I most certainly didn't. Yeah, maybe I don't like the guy, but I'm not just going to kill the man for that. I feel terrible for what happened. And I'm angered that no one fucking believes me. But, what can you do? I'm sure I'm not the first or the last guy who'll be put in prison for a crime he didn't commit. So you may be wondering, why am I writing this? <laughs> in all honesty, there's nothing else to do in this goddamn place but sit and stare at these metal walls. Not exactly a fun thing to do. So, Let's begin with how long I've been here. I've been here for approximately six months and seven days. It feels a hell of a lot longer than that, to be honest. I'm staying in a two-person cell with another prisoner named Demetrius Baranov. Now, there's something about this guy that really gives me the creeps. Since day one of me being here, the guy hasn't said a word, not even to the other prisoners. I've asked some other guys what he's in for, and they told me with hushed voices that supposedly he was arrested for not only the murder of four rival gang members he was fighting by himself, but also the murder of two cops trying to bring him in. The officers that he murdered reported to have their eyes gouged out and their jaws completely broken. Once I heard that shit, I've been terrified ever since. Although... He never seems to give me the time of day, and he keeps to himself, so I'm happy about that. Well, that's all I got for now, I guess. I'm gonna go stare at the walls now and hope my crazy Russian gangster cellmate doesn't murder me in my sleep. Later. Well, if there is a later. <sighs> Come on in. Sir, I have received word from prison XY25 requesting a prisoner transfer. A prisoner transfer, eh? Which ones? Miles Young, Demetrius Baranov, and two other ones of your choice, sir. Ah, <laughs> excellent. This place is starting to get full of those bastards. Alright then, let's go get those bastards out of their cells. Line them up! Yes, sir. Alright, get your asses up and get out here! Line up! Now, let's get down to business. You sorry sacks of shit are getting transferred to a place called Prison XY25. And it's the worst prison we got here in our galaxy. I hope you enjoyed your stay here, because where you're going, it's gonna be pure hell. But, it's not like you pieces of filth don't deserve it. You're all a bunch of no-good killers and deserve not even to be alive. But don't worry. This place will make you wish you weren't alive. And that will be enough satisfaction for me knowing that. XY25 will bring you to your knees with nothing but misery and pain. And I can't wait until that misery and pain comes to you all. Now, on with the good stuff. You try and attack any of us during attempted transport, you'll be shot. You try and escape during a tent of transport, you will be shot. Do not test us. You will lose every time. Now, that shit out of the way. Get these low-life motherfuckers onto that ship out of my sight. Yes, sir. Get moving, scum. Move your asses. Single file. Oh my god. 
god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This can't be happening. I'm fucking innocent. You're sending me to this fucking death trap? Oh god. What the fuck am I gonna do? Oh, uh, maybe I should ask him if he knows anything about this place. Oh, no, no, I can't do that. But what if I try to talk to him and he fucking kills me? Uh, well, well, I guess it can't be any worse than a life sentence in that place if what the guards say are true. Oh, shit. Here goes. <laughs> hey, D Demetrius, is it? Um, do, do you know uh, anything about the place where we're going? Is it true what the guards were saying about that place? Shut up. Uh, uh, sure. Okay. Jeez, what fucking help he is. Oh, well. I guess I'll just have to find out when I get there. All prisoners have been stored in their cells, Captain. Alright. Good. Keep an eye on them. Make sure they don't try anything. Yes, sir. Where are we at on our journey so far, Captain? Well, it appears we are... Hold on a second. Something's not right here. What is it, sir? The map is showing that we are off course and drifting away fast. As a matter of fact, we're not even on the right course to XY25 at all. We're completely somewhere different. This damn thing must be glitching out again. Hold on. I'm gonna put us on the right path again. Happen. We lost all our power to the main thrusters. I've lost control of the ship. I'm gonna have to make an emergency crash landing on that planet. Get someone strap in. It's gonna get rough. Yes, sir. What the fuck is going on out there? Oh my God! What are we gonna do? out of here and look for some survivors. Maybe some others made it. Demetrius? He's actually alive? Man, I don't know if I should help him. He, he might kill me. But maybe he won't. I don't know. Oh, come on, Miles. You know what the right thing to do is. No matter what happens. Oh, whatever. Just go with it. That's it. I'm gonna help him. It's alright, Demetrius. I got you. Come on. Let's get out of here. Hey, there's a shelter up ahead. Let's go there. All right, Demetrius, I'm gonna go find something to maybe help bandage you up. I'll be right back. Oh, hell yeah! Yes! A crate! I hope it has something of use in it. All right, perfect. All right, I gotta get this back to him. Hang in there, Demetrius. I'm gonna patch you up. There. That should do it. <sighs> now that he's been taken care of, how the hell are we gonna survive out here? 
I don't know. Guess we better get to work on something. How's it going everybody? My name is Sniperman1109 and today we are here with some RimWorld. A brand new series for the channel. I played a little RimWorld in the past. Kind of didn't go so well. But hopefully we can change that this time. So, the story is, Miles Young and Demetrius Baranov have crash landed on this desert planet. And let's get a look at it. They have crash landed on this desert planet. Look at this thing. And little do they know, they don't realize it yet. But we got a, we got a bunch of hostile tribes on the map. And besides these people over here, they're they're decent. That's the only friendly faction on the map. But we have crash landed in the desert. They were prisoners aboard a ship. They were being transported, and they have crash landed. And now they must survive on this planet, and eventually try and get off this desert world and try to get to civilization once again. So, Miles has helped Demetrius. Demetrius is kind of in bad shape. It's kind of the silent type. So we're, it's going to be interesting to see how their relationship is going to unfold. Because Demetrius, as you all have seen from the beginning, he's kind of a he's kind of a crazy guy. And then Miles, he's innocent. So, he didn't read it. He didn't kill his, uh, that guy on purpose. So... We're also going to look, go around the map and try to find some supplies. We're going to start, we're going to make a stockpile zone for our, our little whatever this is here. I think we're going to build, build on. I like building in the middle of the map. I don't really like uh, building close to the sides because, you know, raids, etc. I'm going to put together a mod list so you guys know what all I have. And RimWorld, that's a stockpile right there. Now, one of the cool things is, is I have this mod called Rim War, and some of you might know what it is, and basically we're going to be able to see when raids are coming, and we'll be able to see stuff all over the map. We'll see, look, like that right there. Estimated time. So people are going to be traveling over the map, factions are going to be attacking each other, taking over places, so that's kind of realistic. Now, to get things started, we're going to go across the map and we're going to look at everything we have. So we got one medicine right there. We got three package survival meals. And by the way, I scattered a little bit of stuff across the map myself. So we have one gun. We have a gun here. And who has better shooting? Miles has six shooting. And Demetrius, so whenever he, he wakes up, he's going to definitely have the gun. Miles, he's kind of useless when it comes to attacking. So Demetrius, I guess... See, they both are good at shooting, but there's only one gun. So Demetrius is going to be like the guy. The, the, the guy with the gun. And then there's... Oh, there's a knife there, too. All right. Now let's go ahead, and I'm going to go ahead and set up our stuff manually. Our priorities. Okay, so the finally, we have our priorities set up here. And for right now, Miles is just laying around, not doing anything. Schedule... We're going to make them work a decent bit. Because at the start of this little civilization, we're going to need to have them work for a lot of time. Because there's so much to do in the beginning. Seriously, there's so much to do. One, two, three, four, five. They got five hours of recreation. I think that's pretty good. Colonist needs rescue. Demetrius, what are you doing? Stay in bed. Rescue him. Now, to get a look at their backstories. Uh, Demetrius was abandoned at birth, and he's a crime lord. So you can see, you know, he's kind of like he was kind of like a troubled orphan. Oh, Demetrius is no longer capable of walking, and Miles was a, as a child of drifters, and then he was a deep space miner, or used to be. And like I said, Demetrius is our is our combat guy. He is that shooting is amazing, and the melee because you got to be you got to be tough being a crime lord after all so first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna go around there has to be wood on the map and we could go around deconstructing stuff as well that would really help us here we got some wood there living in the desert is going to be a very very big disadvantage we're we are 
a very bad spot. And, oh, ooh, ship chunk. Yes. Deconstruct. So there's parts, bits and bobs of the ship lying around. Uh, real ruins, which we got some beds already. I mean, look at this. So it was a wooden bed. We're going to claim that. We have, we have beds already. We can just take them. And then we can use them. So claim all that. Let's see here. We'll build some wooden walls. This is going to be a really crappy shelter. So the first order business, Miles knows that in the desert, we're going to need shelter. That's just a given. It's not going to be anything great, but hopefully it'll get the job done. It'll be a good thing temporarily. Now, we got a chair there too. So we're going to literally be going around the map just looking for stuff to see maybe if, you know, there's other things here we could use at our disposal. More food. <laughs> I'm glad I'm looking around here. Look at this. We got food already just lying around here. It appears there used to be old civilization here. Look at all those. And then, let's yeah, let's get a look at the wildlife because we're going to need to hunt. There's a bunch of dro dromedaries or I don't know how you pronounce that. What we could really do though, and these would be great to ride because I have the giddy up and uh, ride mod. Those would be really good for riding. And breeding. And we could use them as cattle. Which, what's, what's, what's people's animal levels? Let's see here. Animals level 3. We have nothing to try and recruit them with. Because we don't have any grass or anything. So, critical. Major break risk. Oh my gosh, what's your problem? He's in tense pain. He slept outside. Recreation unfulfilled. Ate raw food. Hey, Demetrius. That's just how it's going to have to be, man. We can only do so much right now. Okay, let's see. Look at all this wood. Chunks of spacecraft. So, yeah, as you see, we still have uh, parts of the ship that were blown blown apart in the atmosphere. They're still falling in. So, let's see here. Look, we got a dresser and a wooden small sculpture. See, and we got some, uh, we got some more beds, double beds and whatnot, and that leads in somewhere. There's a lot of cool stuff on this map. I'm liking it. We could deconstruct some of this stuff and reuse some of it. So I'm going to set orders to deconstruct this stuff here. We could always use more wood. And then that there. And then I think I think we yeah, yeah, we cut off we cut uh for the desert plains we can cut up these cactuses and use these for wood as well. I believe that's how it works. Geothermal generator. Can we, like, uninstall that? I, I doubt that. No, we can only deconstruct it. That'll be a really great source of power. We could lead, like, you know, we could fix it up and then lead it to our base with some conduits. That would work great. Oh, hey, look, and there's a master helmet right there. So, seeming how it's uranium, that's not very good material. And, by the way, I spawn these things, and at random, they're randomly generated when it comes to uh, condition. So... That's how they, they came in. So we're going to go ahead and give Demetrius that. We're going to give him a knife. And I know he's, yeah, he's good at shooting. And basically he's going to have all the weapons for now. Because really he's, he's the combat expert here. Because Miles, he's only so good. Did we already, did he already haul that gun there? No, no he didn't. The assault rifle is right there. Perfect. Demetrius, go recruit, go equip that. So as I said, even though Demetrius is a strong silent type, look at this, more more shit chunks. I'm telling you, keeps falling. Even though Demetrius is a strong silent type, dude, wood fire generator, but it requires coal. Whatever, man. There's there's coal on the map, right? Somewhere. I think I've seen some. There has, Yeah, there it is right there. Excellent. So we got power right off the bat. We didn't even have to build a generator. There's already stuff here. We got really freaking lucky. We got really freaking lucky with this. Oh, crap. Where'd they go? Here they are. Okay, we're going to claim this one. We're going to reinstall this over at our little shanty because it's far from being a good base right now. And a matter of fact, we're in the desert. Let's see if there's any green anywhere. Oh, look at that. Right there. There's temperate forest. So, this might not be our, our permanent home. 
Uh, because, like I said, this is a world ravaged, you know, by just pure on desert. Like, this took months and years to get this world like this. And we're surprised that there's so many people here. But, as, you know, the times went on, people have learned how to live off the land in the desert. Because we can see this, you know, with indigenous tribes in real life, too. We could see them building wells and extracting water from under, deep underneath the ground in places that are really inhospitable. So they can only assume that they're doing that, but they don't know that these tribes exist yet. They think this world's abandoned. So reinstall this. We'll put it here. And I also have a window mod, so we can, you know what, let's put a couple of windows in. We'll put a window there. Structure, rustic window. We will put that right here. And maybe another one there. And these windows will also be good as well. We can shoot through them in case somebody comes. And as for, you know, for all they know, they're the only ones alive from the crash. Because, as you know, Miles woke up and he's seen nothing but death and destruction around him. Miles is actually shocked that they're alive. And Miles still knows. He's like, he doesn't know if it was a good idea saving Demetrius or not. But he's hoping that his goodwill... Refuse guest I don't have I don't have guest beds. He's hoping that, you know, his kindness that of saving him when he didn't have to, Demetrius will be grateful for that. Raw food. Okay, that's a big thing. We're gonna be out of food very shortly if I don't do anything. So Demetrius is healing up. We're gonna go ahead and have some of these Domadries hunted. We're gonna hunt a couple of them. I really wish we had wait a minute. We could use that we could have used that raw food. We still can, we have rice. Okay, hold on. Animals. Who has the best animals? Skill. It's Miles. No, oh, good luck. Okay. Handle and train them. Miles, can you please? Let's go. Let's go to wildlife. Can you please tame one of these things? A male and a female. Tame that. Go for it right now. I really hope he gets it. If he gets this, it's gonna be great. But we're gonna need to have them some food, otherwise they'll starve. So that's a big thing. And how how is the water situation? Because we're going to need water. There's... Oh, yeah, we got water on the map. Do we? Is that water? No! No, it's not. Why would I think it's water? We're in the middle of a dry, inhospitable place. There's nothing here, but there's a water tower up here. And there's nothing in it. That makes sense. So, yeah, the people... It appears that the people who were here a long time ago have just, you know, gone. They're nowhere to be seen. Did you even attempt taming that thing? No? Okay. Alright. Demetrius. He's consuming rice. No, don't consume that. We need to get a fire going. So, let's get to... Temperature. And we're going to build a campfire. We're going to put it right here. It's the only thing we can cook on, really, right now. Demetrius, or Miles, get up. You. Don't worry about consuming rice. I want you to hunt. So we have food. So Demetrius, he just takes the rifle and he starts hunting right away. Oh, you poor things. I'm so sorry. He killed one. Okay. Haul that bad boy. No place to store it. Oh, right. I didn't put that we can have bodies in our stockpile. We got a fire going. Let's go ahead and make smoked meat. 40 smoked meat forever. And then if they can't do that, make regular smoked meat. And then now we need a, but a butchering table. So classic decor. And then we're going to go with the butcher table. And we can build that. We'll build it outside. It's not going to be as good. I know. It's not going to be as great outside. Get on that. Demetrius, you're not consuming the rice. Storage. Allow rotten? No. But allow animal bodies. Corpses, animal-like. Not human-like. We're not going to be that type of settlement where we cannibalize people. That's how you know we're in a bad spot, which we still might do that. Who knows? But Demetrius and Miles both know that the environment that they're in is very, very hostile. 
and they're going to need to do everything they can to survive. And their thirst, or their, oh my god, their thirst is already horrible. Okay, we need to build a primitive well, like, right now. Hygiene. Primitive well. Cool, cool, we can build one right by the house. That's great. Okay, we need to get on that. So Miles begins construction on a well. We got 11 rice left. Uh, I guess we're not going to be able to tame one of these things after all. We got to we got to focus on eating right now and stuff like that. We're already starving. What are you doing, Demetrius? He's hauling wood. Do you haul that that animal? No, you did not. Haul that. That's the only food we have right now. We have nothing else. We got a chair. It's normal. We'll re we'll reinstart right here. So, because Miles is the only one with cooking experience, really. Because Demetrius is a, is a beginner, and, you know, Miles has a little bit of cooking experience. So that's good. And we have, we now have a water source. Oh, he's feeding it, he's, he's feeding him straight from the dead animal. Miles, what are you doing? Here, let's, let's, let's put construction for you secondary. It's a secondary thing, buddy. You need to cook. Like, right now. We gotta have food. He's hauling it. Oh. Right! I didn't put a bill for him to butcher. That might actually help us. We're gonna put... We're gonna butcher this creature. Forever. Miles, are you gonna cook now? Yes, he is. There he goes. He's on it. Excellent. So we already got some food going. I need to re uh, reinstall these beds over here. Reinstall that here. It's going to be very cramped shelter. Demetrius, what's your building? Oh god, it's only construction level 2. It don't matter. We're going to have to have you help with construction. Because someone has to be cooking all the time. He's, how is he ever going to get better if he doesn't do it? Go for it, Demetrius. Mad Iguana. Local Iguana has gone mad. It will attack everyone it sees. Well, that's a good start. Mother Nature's already trying to kill us with Iguana attack. Bring it! Where are you? Where is it? There it is. Hey, we got... The food's coming to us this time. So it's, it's already great news. So we have Demetrius standing guard right now. He's outside. Rifle ready to kill this Iguana. That's... Where is it? That's slowly coming our way. It's chasing Miles. Are you kidding me? You're resting. You're not resting. No rest for you. Reinstall it. If you're gonna rest. Alright, we're just gonna... Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Oh, he's... He's almost fully healed. Dehydration. Moderate. Okay, he already... He already drank. Making sure I'm like... I built that well for a reason. Okay, this is gonna reach Miles. He's actually gonna reach Miles. Miles has to carry that bed. He's fast. Yeah! Here we go. Uh, Miles, you're running right into it. Run. Go around. Go around the crazy iguana. Lead it closer. So Demetrius is there. He's shooting the iguana. Or attempting to. He's missing. I mean, it is a tiny target. I don't blame him. All right, he killed it. And then there. There you go. It's a little extra food for us right there already. Right off the jump. So as I said, we got a bunch of stuff here for us to use. We already got 20 smoked meat. So we got some food going already. A growing zone. Can we even grow here? This place is really bad for that. What type of soil is this? Stony soil. Sand. Can we even grow here? And then soil. Regular soil is right here, so we might have to grow here. So, grow zone. We'll put that here. And see, now it's just us. We're not going to really need too much. Yeah, we can't grow on the sand. That's It makes perfect sense. Okay, we're going to grow potatoes. The go-to. Demetrius is just sitting by the fire, relaxing socially by himself. That's one thing I don't understand. How can you react socially by yourself? Miles continues to sleep away from the fire, away from the camp. So that's cool. Demetrius said it can, he's relaxing socially again. 
I'm gonna have him build some of these walls while he's not doing anything. Cause we need we need a shelter. Oh, our window! Hey! And what's cool about that window is it can actually you can actually close the shutters and open them. I think it's pretty nice. Neat. And it allows wind to come through and everything. Because in the desert, I'm sure it'll get cold at night. There's our another window. Boom, perfect. Demetrius, Crime Lord, is fully healed. Alright. Alright, I'm just glad that we got a little bit of food. It's not much. Okay, he decided to sleep on the ground. Here, that's not medical. Here, Demetrius. Go ahead and haul that bed down here and you can sleep inside the shelter. He's got a window right above his bed, I just realized that. Alright, right to the point. Miles is cooking. Demetrius, he's he's hunting. This is perfect, man. This is perfect. That shooting, this is really going to help his shooting level, too, by the way. Oh, there it goes. I feel so bad. Oh, I feel so bad. What other type of wildlife do we have here? Boomalopes. I mean, we can, we can hunt them down because there's nothing here for them to burn down. It's just sand and dirt, so, I mean, the fire can't really spread, so that's perfect. Anything like that that comes on the map... I think it's fair game. Excuse me. Look at all this meat, and it's just laying out here, so that's kind of a problem. That's why I said we need to... I think I'm actually going to expand the shelter this way. That might be better. We'll expand it a little bit. Uh, we can have this be like a little hallway leading to, to the back here. Put a little door here or something. And I'm thinking about... We'll make... We'll do this here. We'll make this our little food storage for now. So I'm going to go ahead and just do the whole, like, claim thing here. We're going to claim all this. Everything is ours. This is our home. As crappy as it is, this is our home. Since it looks like you'll be here for a while, Miles thinks that you should give your faction a name. What should your faction be called? Huh. We'll randomize for now. Actually, I don't know if you can change your faction's name later on. I don't know if it's possible. I hope it is. Rimville. Okay, you know what? I hope it's possible. Because Flint will be the, the, the name of our place and then... Uh, ver, ver, whatever that is, will be our faction name for now. I believe, I believe you can change your faction name. I hope you can. And if you can, please, if you guys have any suggestions for a faction name, put them down there. And again, I will take everybody's suggestions. I will put them on a a wheel, and I'll spin it. And whatever it lands on, that's what our faction will be called. And I. I think I heard it. Yeah, I was, I was right. I heard an explosion. We killed one. All right, Miles. Go ahead and bring that chair over so you can actually sit down and enjoy yourself. We already got 102 uh, smoked meat. We're doing pretty good in that aspect. Is anyone coming to attack us yet? Nobody? Okay, good. No one's coming to attack us yet. I don't see anything dangerous. So, we're good in that regard right now. Demetrius is there. Miles, he's hanging up a poster. Okay. Here, reinstall your bed here. You live over here. I'm going to have him do that, like, right off the bat. Like I said, our house is, is a crap shack right now, <laughs> but it's the best we got. Okay. Oh, wow. Cool. All right, so I found more package survival meals just lying over here. It's kind of a shocker. Oh, oh, okay, and as you see... Oh, this that boomalope's going to waste. Damn it. Demetrius, you just decided to stop? Okay, he's repairing our place now. That was random. He let that one go to waste. That kind of sucks. We really could have used that food. An ostrich and an iguana. Oh my gosh, we're getting low on stuff here. There's a couple of domedries. There's only the two left. Keep them. I don't like boomalopes. We're hunting them all. Perfect. See, look at that. 
Perfect food source right here. All right, now, after he's done hunting, hopefully he's going to build our base. He's going to finish it. Uh, we're, I'm going to have him go ahead and bring that, that generator over here. And then, matter of fact, it's not going to work until we can actually mine. So we're going to come over here and we're going to mine some coal. Because without this coal, we can't fuel the, a wood fire generator, which I don't know why it does that. I think it's one of my mods or something. But... And then that, that, this thing here, this bedroll, we're probably going to use that for a, uh, a whatever, like a prisoner bed or something. Ancient danger. Demetrius draws near an ancient wall. A sense of foreboding overcomes him. He isn't sure why, but he feels like the dusty structure may contain great danger. Huh. Well, we'll have to keep an eye on that, won't we, Demetrius? We'll have to keep an eye on that. Miles is sitting there by the fire, just relaxed socially, doing whatever. Demetrius is randomly another ranks of danger. Wow, cool. Randomly hanging up posters. I don't know why. And now he's relaxing socially. It's going to be too late, though. Miles is probably going to be in bed. So they're kind of talking a little bit. They're kind of getting to know each other. Let's see what their social staying is. Crashed together. Rescued me. So Demetrius, he, he likes Miles already, but... He's not, he's not very good about showing it. He's Cargo pods! You have detected a cluster of cargo pods crashing nearby. Perhaps there's something useful in the wreckage. Smoke leaf milk? Uh, uh, not really useful. But okay, I've never seen that before. That's something interesting. So the main goal here is to get power because we are in the desert. We are in a very, very hot place right now. And we got plenty of steel lying around. So we're going to go to... What is this? Yeah, power. Power. There it is. We're going to go ahead and lay down some... See, there's cool. There's already some conduits in here already. Look at that. What are the odds? We're going to have some conduits lead back here because we're going to already need to have... A cooler built in for our food. And we'll build it right here. That's where the cooler will be. Oh, yeah, to defecate in the open. Uh, that's another thing. We'll make a bathroom. That might actually help us. Here. It's going to be a crappy bathroom. A lot of... Everything here is going to be crappy. It's going to be... We're going to have a very crappy time here. We'll make the bathroom... Hygiene. A latrine. Put it there. Boom. And then, we can't build doors yet. Let's put a st no, yeah, a stall door. Perfect. Okay. Put that there. We already have 242 smoked meat. Smoked meat lasts a very long time, approximately. It won't spoil till 1.3 years. So, this food won't go bad. So, the more smoked meat we have, the better. And there's only two of us so far. Three ancient dangers? Yeah, I made the map pretty big, so we have plenty of room to... To build if we decide to stay here. I mean, because there's a lot of steam geysers. The power source around here is basically infinite. And we got a... Oh, we got some batteries? Hell yeah! Alright, so we have... We have well, the means of keeping power. And we also have the means of having power. And a research bench over there. So, I mean, that's what I said. There's a lot of good stuff on this map. We, we started off really well. And they also have these Z-Levels mods. So we can build a basement if we wanted. And kind of live underground too. Which we might explore that option later. And they got a couple of sinks here. A couple of butcher tables. We'll take one of these sinks. The kitchen sink. We will take that. And we will put that somewhere. Eventually. We will put that somewhere eventually. I don't know where to put it right now. And I think we need to build some bedrooms. Because living, sharing this little area here. This is probably... Wild woman wanders in. A person living among wild animals has wandered into the area. She calls herself Orange. Oh my god, she's naked. Okay. So, a lady named Orange wandered in. And is now just walking around. Doing her own thing. So yeah, we have to worry about that because every single one of my freaking playthroughs, a, like a wild person wanders in. And they just ruin everything. 
Where is she? She was on this side, right? You hear that, Orange? You stay away from our faction. Don't eat our food. Now, I don't know what she's going to eat here. She's probably going to starve to death. Because you have to have at least a level 7 person to uh, recruit or try to tame an animal. What is this? Nation, scouting Flint. Oh, we're going to be attacked. Scouting Flint. What? So they're coming. They're coming to attack us. Oh, and they killed, they killed one of the friendly factions. They met on the battlefield. Okay, they decided to return. They're returning to Black Barbary. So they were coming to attack us, but they encountered somebody else. And they're like, okay, well, we're a little hurt now. Yeah, combat power, 50. They barely survived that. Okay. So we're not too far from getting attacked by one of these factions. I mean, they probably... The, tri the tribal's probably seen, like, this big ball of fire coming out of the sky. And are like, what is that? They don't even know what this is. And they're probably coming to investigate. And I'm pretty sure when they find that these two people are here, and they don't know who they are, they're kind of dressed in weird clothes and whatnot, they're probably not going to be too happy when they come and oh, come across us. So look at this. He's already going around. He's repairing things. And then I have a feeling Demetrius is just going to continue on after he gets our base all fixed up. And I already know what's happening here. We're going to go to zones. We're going to clear home area. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Look at this. I don't... We don't live... Oh, crap. We don't live here. We don't live in any of these places right now. So, so he don't go around re repairing a bunch of ruins. We don't want that. We also need a dumping zone. So I'm going to go ahead and build that as well. Really quick. Dumping pile zone. Way over there. It's another thing I forgot. So he's just repairing some stuff, and then after that, I have a feeling he's probably going to get to work and get some building going. But yeah, our food, I'm very happy with what it's looking like so far. It's just us two, but we need to get that crap inside because Orange over there, there she is. Look at it. She's already coming our way. Get out of here, you naked lady. She's probably going to come over here and, and eat our food because it's just laying out here. Anybody could come up, any animal or anything. Any animal could come over and just eat our stuff. But, look at this, Miles is hauling wood over, Demetrius, I don't know, he's refueling the campfire. And they're probably going to start building the shelter here soon. But, this is all we got so far, I mean, we're doing decent. Boomalope meat is rotted away, dang it! Miles, what are you doing? Get back to cooking. There you go, our meat's rotting. So guys, I'm probably going to end the episode here. Uh, we've actually got a pretty good start, we got a generator and all that stuff is started. Uh, Sorry, nothing really interesting happened this episode. We were going to get attacked, but these guys got messed up before they even came near us. What about these guys? No? No one's coming after us. Good. But yeah, we got a little base going. Miles and uh, Demetrius, they actually survived. Demetrius healed up. And we're going to have to see how this journey and how this experience is going to treat them. And what lies ahead on this strange, uncharted world. If you guys like this episode, please snap that like button and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell icon so you can see when I post more episodes. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!